guys, it's me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We're also doing our Make It Now Monday project and today we are making a scrapbook page. This one here is called Family Reunion. I'm actually going to change it to February Remodel. Alright, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, that verifies that you are logged in. On this page, you want to scroll down until you come across Cricut Access. Click on View All. In the upper right hand corner where it says Cricut Access, we're going to click on that and then go all the way down and click on Photo Memories. The layout that we are working with is called the Family Reunion Scrapbook page. Click on that. It will bring up a preview window. Click on Customize. Right, we have all the images here. The first thing I want to do is go to the bottom left hand corner of Design Space. Click on the minus sign one time so I can see all the images. Left hand side toolbar, I'm going to click on Shapes. Click on the square. Having the square selected, I want to resize that. Top toolbar where the size is, I'm leaving the lock locked. Making the width be 12 inches. Now I have a 12 by 12 square. I also want to change the color. Having the square selected. Right hand side toolbar, we can see where the square is, it will be highlighted. I'm going to click on that and make it be a white color. I'm going to click on the square, right click on that and choose move to back. And I can bring this over and that will act as my 12 by 12 piece of paper for my layout. Now I am changing quite a few things. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the tree, also the square. I'm going to bring all of my hearts over. I'm bringing all of them over except for the brown ones, I will be deleting those. I do apologize, but it's going to get loud. The trash truck is coming by. All right, let's go in and remove the brown squares. All right, now I'm going to create my photo mats. Left-hand side toolbar again. We're going to click on Shapes. Click on the square. We want to resize that top toolbar. This time I'm unlocking the lock, making the width be 4.25, and the height is going to be 3.25. That way it'll hold a 3x4 photo. I'm going to change the color of this to match that lighter gray color. Right hand side toolbar, click on color sync. I can see the square here. I'm going to click on that and drag it to the lighter color gray. Now I can go in and remove the lighter color gray hearts. I only kept them for a color reference. Now I do need four photo mats. I'm going to right click on my piece and choose duplicate until I have four of them. I'm going to bring them over here out of my way. I'm going to grab the title, left hand side toolbar, I'm going to click on images in the search box, I'm going to type in the word February, click on enter, and the one I chose is right here and that is from the days and dates cartridge. I'm going to click on that, make sure it's down here at the bottom, go back up top in the search box, and this time I'm typing in the word remodel, I'm going to click on that piece there and that is from, oops sorry, the handyman cartridge, click on that image. Bottom right, click on Insert Images. I'm going to bring the word Remodel over here. I'm going to right click on that and choose Ungroup. Move that out of my way. I want to keep this all, and by that is Ungroup, you can see there. I'm going to reline it back up. Take my mouse across the entire saw piece. Right click on that and choose Group. And we can set that piece aside. Bring the Hour Remodel back down. Now I do want to remove the word Hour on top of that. So left hand side toolbar, we're going to click on shapes, click on the square. We're going to bring the square over and cover up that word. I'm going to unlock the lock and scoot it over a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Take your left mouse button across the entire piece, right click on that and choose slice. That's going to cut away the top part of that word for us. Right, now I want to bring my word over and resize that to fit on top of this piece here. Get that how I like it. Maybe a little bit smaller here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I want to right click on my word and choose duplicate. Put that one aside. Again, my left mouse button across both words. 
I'm going to right click on that and choose weld. Now they're all one piece. I'm going to change the color of that to that same light color gray. So on the right hand side toolbar again, we're going to click on color sync. I can see my grouping here. I'm going to click on that and drag it to the lighter gray color. I'm also going to grab the saw blade and change that to the lighter gray as well. All right, we can bring this over here toward the bottom. I want to change my word February to the dark color heart. Again, the color sync window, I'm going to drag that to the darker red and my saw blade as well. I can bring this down. I'm going to right click on that and choose move to front. That'll sit on top of that welded word. I'm going to bring my saw down and just resize that a little bit. Kind of fit it down here in the bottom corner. I'm going to right click on that and choose move to front. And I'm just going to rearrange my squares a little bit. I don't want them all lined up perfectly, kind of off a little bit. All right, now we're going to grab our hearts. And I'm just going to place all three colors in a group. So I have the three there. I have three here. I want three over here. I'm going to bring this down some. So I have hearts here. I need the cream one and a gray one. I want three hearts over here on the bottom. I'm short a cream one, so I'm going to right click on a cream color heart and choose duplicate. Bring that down and we're going to remove the extra gray piece that we have. All right, that is the layout. Now I want to remove the 12 by 12 piece. We no longer need that. Go to the upper right hand corner and click on make it. So now I need a 12 by 12 piece of gray cardstock to cut out all that. Then we have the saw blade. I do want to move that to the other mat, so I'm going to click on the saw blade, click on the three circles, click on move to another mat, and we're going to move that to mat one, so it's all the same color. So just bring this down here, it will fit there. All right, now we have the darker gray of our hearts, we have the red, and our last color is the cream, and then we have the pink for the ring. All right, bottom right, I'm going to click on continue, go to the table, and we'll put our layout together. Alright guys, we have everything cut out. I'm first going to separate all my pieces and remove my photo mats. Put it that way there. Now I'm going to first put on my ring. I'm using art glitter glue. I get it from Mamie Made It. I'm just going to flip it over a little bit and just put a little bit of glue kind of here and there. Just to help hold it down a little bit. I like the four corners of the circle I'm putting glue on. Okay, just with a little bit of a rub. Now we're going to grab our title. That's going to come down here. I put glue on the back of this. So this would be the first page or the title page of my February project light. That's how I'm doing it this month or this year. I'm going to do one scrapbook page for each month. All right, so we have that there. Now we have our word February to go on top of that. I'm going to let that alone for the moment. I might want to pop that up. Let's first grab our photo mats and play with them. I don't want them all the same. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Today is Monday when I'm filming this for you guys, and I shared, you know, the Sunday with Stace video, two of them yesterday, explained the remodel. I am so sore today. And we didn't even remove the bottom cabinets yet. We're still, all the top ones are removed. We still need to do with the bottom. So we're probably going to do that today when Hubby gets home. It almost feels like we're camping because we have no cabinets and no countertops. You know, it's like all of our food is in the living room. It's kind of funny. But I'm super excited about it as well. And that kitchen was long overdue for a remodel. So I'll share with you guys the process. You know, the appliances come this weekend. Excited about those to get here finally. i am move this down a little bit. There we go. All right, now we have... Our saw, oops, I didn't, remove, I didn't leave room for my saw. 
Hmm. All right, I'm gonna play with that one for a moment. All right, let's glue our hearts down. I'm just gonna kind of place them around here. Just to see how I like them. And I messed up, I did the darker gray with my mattes. So I meant to do that with the lighter gray. That's life though, right? All right, so we're gonna need another cream one right here. I need a red one here. And I need a lighter gray there and a gray there. All right, where is my saw gonna go? I might put the saw right here in the middle, like that, maybe. All right, that's gonna work. All right, I do wanna put my photos down first. I wanna print them this morning. So we have the before living room and then the after, or living room, kitchen, the one side. Plop that one here. That's what it looked like a kitchen. I had cabinets and I had a countertop. Then we have the after. So we're having the electrician come out this week to put the outlet next to where the stove used to be on that side. And then we have him coming out to do unhook the microwave plug behind where it used to be. Undo that and also put a plug in where the new stove is going to be for the gas stove. And also above that for the hood. And we're not decided yet, we're still unsure on the kind of hood we want for above the stove. I wanted one that was like exposed to where you would see all the stainless steel part of it, but if we have to, we'll just go with under the, ca um, under the cabinet kind. Not quite sure. There's the other side of the kitchen with all the cabinets. And then we have this side with no cabinets. We did manage to paint the entire kitchen ceiling last night. That was a huge relief. I'm glad we got that finally done. So today, when I'm done this video, I'm gonna go ahead and cut in all the paint in the living room to get that or get that done. When the hubby comes home, hopefully, um, he'll be able to roll at least half of it. It's kind of hard to paint the white ceiling on the white ceiling without messing up because or missing spots because it's just hard to see where you started because the lighting is really bad at nighttime. All right, plop that handle on there. You know, and I changed it, to, I changed this layout to kind of fit what we're doing, but you can change it to make it be anything you like. You know, if you find a grouped word like this and you like it, but you only want the bottom half, do what I did and just slice it off there. All right, so what hearts are we going to pop up? I only want to pop up three of the hearts, three colors here. I think I'm gonna go with the red. That seems to be the most dominant color, so it'll pull from this piece here. I'm also gonna pop up the title. So I'm gonna put some of the hearts on top of the layout or the pictures, and some not. Just kind of changing the shaping up them a little bit. Move this guy down here. That gray and cream is really close together as far as the colors. All right, so I want this cream to go this way, or that gray. And my phone is dinging. Oh, it's the honey. Now, oh, let me see. He texted me, how's it look? So let's go see how it looks. Oh, that's the, oh, that looks nice. That's the kit, you probably can't see it. That's the kitchen in, 3D view. Oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay, let me just text him back real quick. He's probably at the um, the builder. Okay, sorry about that, guys, but that's real life. Had to get back to him. All right, let's glue this cream heart down. Put that right there. Yeah, I didn't know they were gonna. He was gonna give us like an actual 3D drawing where it shows the cabinets and whatnot. And the backsplash, I need your help with, guys. I'm kind of stuck on that one. Um, we're gonna have a speckly granite where it's black, white, gray with like hints of rose in it. Really, really pretty. But it is busy, so I'm thinking I might wanna go with a, um, I'm just gonna flip all the right over and pop them up. Um, I might wanna, 
go with a more like just a plain white cabinet or um, backsplash? What do y'all think? I thought about going with a really pretty one that we've seen at Home Depot. It had gray, black, white, I mean, it was gorgeous. But I think it might be a tad bit too busy for the countertop. I'm not sure. I was gonna go with like a white tile look. And that's probably where I'm gonna go. Oh, decisions, you know? It is so fun though, shopping for something that you've been waiting for for so long. All right, I'm gonna pop up the word February. I'm gonna flip that guy over. This is gonna be the, like, the longest video ever, but this is how I work. Hopefully I have enough of these little pop dots. We'll make do. All right, I need one down there. It's gonna bother me not having one down there. Okay, this might be a little bit uneven, but it'll still be popped up. Okay, he texted me back something. Are you good with the design? I can tell them to order it. Yes, yes, put in the order. All right. So yeah, do you think I'm better off going with a um, a more neutral color for the backsplash? I'm really undecided. I really like that one at Lowe's, or Home Depot rather. It was really pretty, but I'm just not sure. I think if I had a more solid, oh, he's gonna call me now. Oh, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm not gonna talk to him. I'm gonna just turn him off for a minute. Otherwise this video will be forever long. This over. Let's try to finish this up so I can call him back. Sorry to rush. All right, so we got that down. I do like that. I'm loving it. I feel like McDonald's commercial. All right, let's take the backing off of these and give all them uh, foam dots a squish first before you take the backing off. It does help, especially when you have no nails. All right, so I need a big heart. We're going to put a big heart down here. All right. So what do you all think of the layout? I kind of like it. Maybe I should have popped up the saw. Mm, I'm thinking maybe I should have. You know what, Stacia probably should have. I might do a little journaling block right here, like and write, and so it begins. And on the back side of this, I'm going to write about the remodel. That's how I'm doing all the layouts this month. I think it's at the beginning um, month for February. For, for the months of the year, rather. Okay, I can't think. All right. And there you have it, my friends, our finished layout. What do you think? I like it. All right, guys, um, there you have it. Our Make It Now Monday project totally reconstructed. Any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.